Hey folks, Pastor Jordan coming to you from the lawn here at the gazebo at church. I am uh, back now after uh, taking a little time off and uh, I am here to lead worship this coming Sunday. Uh, we will be worshiping outdoors yet again. Uh, we're going to squeeze one more at least outdoor worship service out of the beautiful fall weather that we've been having. Um, I checked the weather. It will be a little chilly, but there's no rain in the forecast and it will be above 40 degrees by, uh, by 10 o'clock when our worship service starts. So um, your hardy northeasterners, um, get your uh, winter gloves and hats out and uh, wear some boots and, and come and enjoy worship in, uh, in this beautiful setting. The, the trees are still going to be uh, beautiful colors surrounding us on Sunday morning and it'll be a blessing to, uh, to worship that way. If you can't be with us uh, in person on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time here at the church, join us uh, on Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on this YouTube channel. You can, uh, you can follow uh, the links uh, in the email that we send out or you can just click subscribe to this channel that you're watching right now. And uh, you can, you can uh, follow us along right here on Sunday morning as we stream live uh, from the gazebo, thanks to the help of our, uh, our technical director, Michael. So um, that's what we'll be doing on Sunday, and we invite you to participate in whichever way you can. Um, this uh, going forward, starting in November, um, the, we will worship indoors if the weather is not conducive. However, if we if we look at the forecast and we have a good uh, Sunday morning coming, we'll take it and we'll worship outdoors. Um, but we will uh, worship indoors if the weather does not allow. We have a, a plan that's been um, published uh, for how we can do that while um, maintaining all of the appropriate safety measures and following all the recommended guidelines and all of that. So um, if we are planning a worship indoors, I will uh, make sure that that information is uh, sent out once again, just so that everybody's on the same page. But um, that's what we're doing. So in-person worship will be continuing here at West Glenville, whether it's outdoors, if the weather is nice, or indoors, if it's, uh, if it's too cold or rainy or snowy. So um, join us and, um, and be with us for worship in, in whatever capacity um, we are worshiping and in whichever way you can join. We are uh, we are knit together by the power of the Holy Spirit, and that's uh, that is the blessing of this God that we follow and call uh, the the King and the ruler of our lives. And so, um, that is uh, that is the good news. Uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to pick up um, with the story of uh, David's promise from God, a promise that he receives from God. And, and we'll look at this um, in some of the ways that we have seen other promises that God has made to God's people. Um, and particularly, we'll think about Abraham and the promises that God made uh, to Abraham and how those uh, fulfilled themselves in ways that were unseen at the time for Abraham. And we're going to see how those things happen with David, that the promise of Abraham leads into the promise made to King David. And we'll take a look at what, what it means when God makes promises and how it, how it is that God goes about promise making. And what is the, what is the deal, right? What's the catch? What's the contract? Is there a contract? Um, and we'll look at uh, the idea of house building as well, because uh, part of this promise that we're going to hear as we're in Second um, Samuel this week, part of the, the promise is, is knit around this idea of building a house, um, a house for God, but also a house for David. And we're going to look at, at how God goes about that, that um, house building. We'll ask ourselves some questions about what kind of houses are we building? Um, what kind of uh, house has our life built? And so we'll look at, look at those things this week as we gather for worship. That's, a, that's your sermon preview for this coming Sunday. That's what we'll be um, looking at together. Um, we'll, we'll be uh, delving into God's promises. Uh, as we gather for worship. So come be with us and, uh, and join us however you can. And I look forward so much to uh, worshiping with you again. Um, may the Lord bless you until we are gathered in Christ's name again. God bless.